What's up guys, welcome back to Xbox All In. Now, Redfall is a game we've covered a few times here on the channel. It's definitely something I've personally been looking forward to playing for quite a while. I've been looking for a different type of cooperative online shooter or even a good single player experience and hoping that this game with Arcane Studios would be able to deliver. And it still might. We haven't gotten our hands on the game and it's been pretty confusing along the way. From things like Always Online that got changed to not Always Online if you're playing single player, to people who got hands on with the game, said it was very fun, they were having a great time with it, it looked great, to gameplay that hasn't been so great recently that we'll also take a look at. It's been pretty turbulent. We're also getting this new announcement about how the game's going to launch on consoles and what its state will be on launch day, which again is disappointing and we'll talk about that a bit too. Some of the gameplay that hasn't been helping and has been making the rounds on the internet is from IGN. And I'm not going to make any digs on this player because, you know, when you're first learning a game and maybe you haven't played it before, you do kind of do some odd things and learn your way around and experiment with skills and run into things like that. Does it cause damage and, and that type of thing? I get it. But I think I would have done that and then went and recorded other footage of having a somewhat of an idea what I was doing and then playing. It's just not the greatest gameplay when you're checking this out from IGN, the way that they do a lot of just running around, weird use of skills, and it doesn't showcase the game very well. And I certainly wouldn't judge the game just off of this gameplay. And it just kind of is what it is. And I don't think a lot of other outlets have been allowed to really show much gameplay with this. And of course, we also got the announcement just a few days later, which is one of the most recent things with 30 FPS on consoles at 4K 30 for the Series X and 1440p 30 for the Series S. Now for the Series S, it's one thing, but over on the Series X, launch day at 30 FPS is going to be rough. It's disappointing to say the least, and comments certainly have not been friendly over there on this post, and that's to be expected. But... I'm not sure when the patch is going to come that they're saying for 60 FPS. That's what we're going to need to really get this game to a state of where we want it when we go to play, especially on a Series X. That I personally have hooked up to a 4K 120 FPS TV. I really don't want to sit and play this game at 30 FPS. For me, PC is going to be the only way at launch day to jump on to Redfall. And I've noticed all the gameplay they've been showing and people who have gone and played the game were playing it on PC and I don't think we've seen console really be showcased and now we know why because in that video you would easily be able to see they were running at 30 FPS. Now they do say we are going to get that performance patch down the road. They don't say when though and the problem with that is the perception. Whatever you get at launch day that's what people are going to talk about and some people just won't even go back to the game. They could be saying a year later even if the performance mode is there that oh that game runs at 30 FPS don't bother. You've got to have it right at launch day. That may just be my opinion, but I'm getting tired of these fixes and patches that have to come all throughout the beginning weeks of a launch for PC and for console. I realize how much more complicated games continue to get, but we didn't have this issue before internet. Back when I used to game and games had to come out finished or they just never worked properly at all. And again, I know development is much different now, but it's getting to be a pretty old cycle. And the way games are perceived on launch day is going to have a long lasting effect on how well a game does in the long run, even if you fix it along the way. It's just how it goes. So I am very disappointed to hear that especially Series X gamers are going to be stuck at the 30 FPS for this game at launch. Some gamers out there are not going to mind, especially some of the more casual gamers that don't care so much about the FPS. But a lot of us out here, it's definitely going to be unplayable for us sitting at 30 fps all right guys that's pretty much going to do it for this video it wasn't a lot i just kind of wanted to talk about this it's a little disappointing just kind of the news that's been coming out with this my hype for redfall is definitely not what it was although i will be playing on pc and i hope that when i actually jump into the game that it plays well it feels good and i actually have a fun time with it even if it's not the greatest game in the world i at least hope it's something fun to play and that they get those patches out sooner rather than later for the consoles i will say before i go that this certainly worries me about what starfield might run like on the consoles at launch later this year is that going to be capped to 30 fps on consoles launch day as well we'll have to see all right guys thanks for coming to check out the video as always and we'll see you in the next one